so uh, just finished with my client and um, oh boy I said uh, August 29th Michael Jackson's birthday and my chocolate lab's birthday today I gave him that birthday because I adopted him on, in August so I just gave him Michael Jackson's birthday and so strange how cold it is 60 probably right now 65 degrees on a day like this and I've got on a long sleeve shirt so I have to so strange walking around talking to myself on the phone and then you know I walk by like a group of people and they're like who are you talking to but um going back to school and you can really feel the energy you can feel that vibration all around people getting ready to go back to school and you know being a former school teacher and going back to school you know as an adult not to mention my 14 years including preschool and my four and a half years and then two years in um, higher education and then like constantly going back to school and what that feels like and it always feels like getting ready again getting yourself ready again ready for uh, some burst of learning, getting yourself, getting your mind ready to receive uh, new information. I, I always feel hyper-focused at this type time of year. So right now is just the best time to set goals. And the goal, my goal setting usually happens on my birthday because it is a new year, formally a new year of my of my self being alive and then I also have goal setting on the new year January but I also set goals now September going in going back to school uh, the, the, the one thing that I love about life is being a student forever because I find that life is so much more uh, pleasurable uh, amazing uh, adventurous if I am endeavoring to learn something new and expand myself and broaden my awareness and, you know, increase my ability to have conversations about things that I have studied, researched, really, really deeply observed. So, goals. Some people don't like goals. They don't like it. They feel overwhelmed by goals. But I actually... I think that setting benchmarks for your life is a great way to move through your life and actually feel accomplished, uh, feel improvement. Setting benchmarks, to me, makes life go slower. You, you people make comments about G time flu or I can't believe that it's already 2017, 2018, time has flown. But I think that when I look back into my journals and into my life, time hasn't flown. When I look back, I can mark off over the year the things that I went through, the things that I accomplished, the goals I accomplished. I have a checklist of items that show, well, if that year flew, how did I accomplish these 10 things? So what happens in my perspective is the year didn't fly. I actually utilized the time. It's the same thing when we look at money. People say, you know, money comes and then it goes and it comes and it goes. But if you have a budget and you have uh, things that are on your budget that you really truly appreciate, like if you really appreciate your apartment when you pay your rent, and you really appreciate spending your money perhaps on uh, workshops or books that you actually read, then you can look back and you can say that your the value of your money took you far and expanded you. And you don't say, God, I don't know where all my money went. I think that when we're you know spending our money at the bar and buying clothes we don't wear or things that aren't fulfilling, we do wonder, you know, the value of our money. We don't really value it because 
we almost feel like the money was wasted. So I feel the same way about time. I'm going back to school in my mind. I'm going back to school in my mind. No, I'm not going to get my PhD. I'm going back to school in my mind. And it means that it's time for me to set aside some books, some targets, some learning, some accomplishments, some things that I am going to be able to fulfill myself with between now, and I usually set these goals, like I said, till January. Between now and January. How about you?